Hello, everyone. So excited to have Mike with us today. And we are talking about something that is critically important for leaders, and that's adapting from failure. You know, as leaders, failures happen all the time. There's always something we can learn from those situations. And so, Mike, could you share a time that you faced a work failure in your leadership journey and then what you learned from it and how you use it moving forward? Absolutely. Thanks, Carrie. I really appreciate this opportunity to share some of my experiences and, and the fact that, you know, we're going to have big and small failures and successes every day, and they're always an opportunity to learn and to, and to go forward. So the biggest one or the most significant one that came to mind when you asked me about this topic, we had a new pre president transitioning uh, to, to our college. And really, I mean, when I say new, really fresh. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd met this new president, this new leader, had not had a time to build a relationship with him. I uh, had not had a time to get to know him better or for him to get to know me better. We weren't in sync, basically. Uh, yet, I was very excited about a campaign that we had in progress, partnership with a couple of other schools. It had already gotten some national attention before launch. So I, you know, basically, my memory of it is like busting into his conference room and being so excited to tell him about it and, and, and sure that he'd be as thrilled as I was. Yeah. And in his mind, it was, wait a minute, let's take a couple of steps back. Didn't even really know what our, our marketing and enrollment marketing goals were for the institution. Didn't know how this fit. Didn't know how the partnership came to be. And so it, it ended up being a great opportunity for us to learn about each other. But one of the things I learned there was, one, be in sync with your senior leadership, whether they're new senior leaders or you just are, are get, you're new to your role and getting the opportunity to learn about them. The second is I'm a very enthusiastic leader and a very enthusiastic marketer. Be careful that that enthusiasm is, is balanced with, you know, kind of reasonable opportunities to tell your story and the reasons why you're doing that work. You know, one of the things that you hit on that I really liked is, so you talk about the railroad model of leadership. It's two things. It's one, it's the tasks itself. But the other is also that process relationship piece. And so, you know, if we don't spend enough time on either of those, we get into a situation that things break down. You know, we either are so focused on relationship that the task doesn't always work well, or sometimes we can be too focused on the task and we don't have the processes and the infrastructure or the relationships to keep things moving forward. So, so true. you know, it's something that we can all learn from. Thank you so much for sharing your insights and your advice candidly. We'll have another playlist out soon, everybody.